Hello, I'm Lucy Bradley, medical herbalist and massage therapist living and working in Glasgow. A friend of mine came over at the weekend and she had been telling me that she'd been drinking loads of chai tea and she found it really fortifying and strengthening and it reminded me that I used to drink and make loads of chai at home so I was inspired and thought I'd make it today on this really cold day with good old Storm Doris going on outside. So and I wanted to share with you how to make it. So chai originally comes from India and it's using Indian spices. So here what I've got on my stove already, we go bubbling away in the pan. So that has been decocting in there, which means uh, boiling in water for about 30 minutes and the smell is amazing. So in that pan, I put two sticks of cinnamon, uh, three cloves, 10 crushed cardamom pods. It's really good to crush the cardamom pods because it releases all the flavor from them. And also a small handful of black pepper, Zanzibari pepper that I brought back with me. And it's amazing black pepper best black pepper on the planet from Zanzibar and also a small knob of ginger piece of ginger about that big just cut in slices so that's put in a pan on a slow simmer with about three quarters of a litre of water and it's been simmering with a lid on for about 30 minutes so the water content has reduced by almost half and it's turned it's turned colour slightly so you can see that it's it's got it's got colour to it. And then so traditionally chai tea is made um in India with milk, with cow's milk, but it can be made with any non-dairy milk as well. And it's also made with black tea. Lots of people don't take it with tea, they just take it as it is. Um, and it's hot and dry, so it's drying. So for winter, it's great because it dries out the mucous membranes as well. So if you've got a really bad cold, this is a really great one for, um, for colds. And then a little thing that I like to do is that I decoct ginger, grated ginger, into my milk before I combine the two. So here, just got a little bit of grated ginger left over and I measured out a small cup of cow's milk and I put them both together in this pan. You can see it's spilt over a little bit, boiled over. So just on a gentle simmer, you put the ginger in, in the milk and it infuses the milk with ginger and it's really nice. So then, because they're both now done, what I'll do is I'll show you how to put them all together. So first of all, we'll take the, I just use a little sieve like this. This is for herbal tea. So I just use that to, as a little sieve. So I'll pour, and I'm gonna have this with black tea as well, cause I like it with black tea. So I've just got loose, loose black tea. This one's from Marks and Spencer's. This is a really nice one. So I'll put some tea in there and then I'll strain off the ginger and the milk together. Oh, I can't wait for this. Um, what a lot of places do, I used to live in Tanzania and what they make a lot of chai in Tanzania as well because of the, um, the influences from Arabic culture and Indian culture that they boil the milk together with the water. They, their kind of best chai is made by boiling all the spices in the milk and it's really nice. Um, but some people, I like making it just with water so then get the chai spiced water and I might like making it in single batches as well. So then I pour in the, 
the chai spice like that. Got some left for later and give it a bit of a dunk. Smells really amazing. I wish video had smell, smell power as well. So then we'll take that out and then I like to sweeten mine with honey. So I've just got some raw, some raw honey here and I'm going to add a nice spoonful of honey. I like it quite sweet because it's, it's spicy and this, the sweetness sets off the spice as well. It seems to really complement the flavour. Give that a good stir. There we go. And now, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, so yummy. Oh wow, that's spot on. And it's just, it's such a subtle flavour. Like, if you're thinking, oh, it's going to be really strong, it's really not. It's really quite subtle and the sweetness kind of tempers everything down. You can also put in it some chilli flakes as well, which make it a little bit hotter and quite a lot drier. Also, if you use dried ginger, dried ginger is much more drying than fresh ginger so if you need kind of mucous membranes drying up a little bit more do that so that's how to make chai tea um hope you enjoy making it yourself if you have any health problems um you can look at my website www.lucybradley.co.uk and this is going to be going up as a blog post as well so check my website and get in touch if you would like any help with your health okay 